Welcome back to Jay-Z Fishing, you guys. In today's daily upload, we got quite a different video. Yes, we do. So, today we got a story time because, uh... Very fun story. Yeah, so, um, before I get into that, though, first of all, I want to say, um, thank you to all the guys who helped us hit our sub goal. Last week, we're doing another sub goal. This week, sub goal of 200 subs. 200. That would be so amazing if we could get that. Exactly. If we could hit that, we'll do another week of daily uploads. If you don't already know, we're also doing daily uploads this week. So click subscribe because you won't want to miss any of those videos. Don't want to miss it. One other thing too, we are doing a fishing tournament for all you locals. Uh, if you want to get more details about that, link to that video will be here, here, I don't know. Anywhere, anywhere around the screen. Exactly. Look for it. But uh, yeah, also if you want to apply to be in the tournament, it's going to be at Tiburon. Link in the description. All you need to do is fill out that form. It's from 8 o'clock till 3 o'clock. That's right. It'll be tons of fun. $20 buy-in. You guys got to do it. Fill out the application form, watch the video about all the, about talking about it, and join. Because we need more people. Yes. We I think do. right now we have two people signed up. Two people, that's not a lot. We need twenty we need at least ten or fifteen. Come on. You guys got this. Share this with your friends. Yes. Alright, so the story. So yesterday, right? We're filming our monthly review, once again. Yep. Go check that out. And um, we were like, you know, we one of the things that we said a lot is we wanted to make our daily uploads a lot of fishing. So less tips and tricks, but more actual fishing content, right? Mm -hmm. So we had enough time, Tuesday afternoon, so we were like, let's go fishing. Why not? Now where were we going to go originally? We were originally going to go down to a different pier which we've never been to in Sausalito. It's called Moore Road Pier. Yep, and we are going to use lures to try and catch some nice stripers or really anything. Rockfish maybe, but we decided last minute we're gonna go to Tipper. Little did we know that was gonna be a decision that uh, possibly changed somebody's life. Yes. So um, yeah, so we we got to Tiburon and we're setting all of our stuff up. And at the time there was no one walking by. It was probably middle of the day. It was a Tuesday. It was a, it was a Tuesday, right? Yeah. It was a Monday. Monday. It was a Monday. And no one around. No boats on the water. Now. Sitting in our chairs, and about I would say half a mile out, mm -hmm. we see a paddleboard. Now, originally, um, it looked well. I should say it looked like a paddleboard, uh, and it looked like it was perfectly doing fine. It looked like he was just paddleboarding around, and uh, it's getting a little closer, and we hear some screams. Yeah. Um, now, at this time, we didn't really know where the screams were coming from. Kind of sounded like they were coming from behind us, to the side, the front, right? It's crazy. Um, and so. What did we see that guy do? Well, we saw, finally we saw the kayak or some type of boat that was flipped over, someone screaming and waving for help, and that's when we knew something was wrong. And we went to these two other bystanders that were walking by, and we were like, should we call 911? And we did, and Joe, you told us. Yeah, and so I called 911, and um, we got on dispatch, we got a call to dispatcher, and uh, pretty much what happened uh, was, well, I, I won't say what happened. We, we or not yet at least. We, we got on the call, and he's like, you know, hey, we have a couple of fire boats, like fire truck boats, right? Yeah. And he said, should Those we just smash them? And honestly, God, I had no idea what to say. Like, we yes, finally, I'm a professional rescuer. <laughs> we eventually saw some boats, like little John boats with motors, finally skiff going out to help them, but we still didn't know like if there were more people stranded in the water. We didn't exactly. We really had no details. We didn't know. It was just so far out. We didn't know really what the boat was. Yeah, we didn't know, we didn't know how many was. people, whether they were drowning. We didn't know any of this information, right? So yeah. we, we said, you know, hey, you should dispatch the fire boat. So at this time, we end the call to the dispatcher. Three police cars come, and they dispatch, it was two or three. Two Coast Guard. Two Coast Guard boats. Um, so yeah, they flipped this guy's boat over. Turns out it was a sailboat. So let, let, let's explain what happened. Yeah. You want to explain what happened with the, the full story? Sure. So apparently what we believe happened was there was a school of sailboats, like a sail team, and we think one of them got like that drifted out by the current and then got stuck out there. And then, and then finally they got the boat flipped over. It was this tiny little like five foot sailboat. And they got home safely. Luckily, no one seemed to be hurt, from our knowledge. But just a very scary moment for us. Yeah, and, and the, for the sailor, yeah, probably. And so, but what was crazy to me is they somehow managed to get away from 
the rest of the pack, which is kind of crazy to me. And obviously, it was a really there was lots of current that day. It was really windy. We don't have we only have one video from the actual event because what we wanted to do was we did not want to put our priority into filming the experience. We wanted to make our priority helping this person stay alive. Yeah. So we did get one video once we got off the dispatcher call. We saw the fire or the coast guard trucks or coast guard boats had been released. Um, so you'll be seeing that probably I don't know now probably you'll probably. be seeing the video of it. Um, but it was it was it was a really crazy experience, and it's not the first time that something crazy has happened there. But it has definitely been the craziest thing that's ever happened, at least me yeah. while fishing. Probably the same for me. So uh, yeah, I think I think we, we did what was, was correct. And um, if you guys have any stories like this, tell us in the comment section below. Uh, and I know this was not the kind of upload that we thought we were going to be making no. today. We were going to be like making a whole on fishing video and. We were gonna film the fishing video. We didn't catch any fish. We were still all crazed up about what just happened. Um, so yeah, definitely not the kind of upload we wanted, but um, it was definitely a crazy story. And uh, yeah, in the future, we'll know what we need to do. Yep. So yeah. Uh, once again, if you guys want to, subs uh, if you guys want to keep seeing these kinds of videos, well, not these kinds of videos, but any videos, any fishing video, please subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Helps us out so much. And please, 200 subs would be so amazing. And you get another week of daily uploads. Stay tuned for more videos. See you guys.